<laughs> hey there, it's Jess Markowitz, your independent Sensi consultant or star director of Jesse's Angels Saving Lives. And um, my last video, I told you I was going to be making the scent of the month samples. So I wanted to show you exactly how I do it. So um, first, I punch these out as a whole so it comes out in one piece. And um, this is my Pyrex little... Um, Measuring cup is, as you could see, all of the um, the little writing has been like heated off because I use this specifically for my um, samples. So what I do is I break these up so it's a little bit easier to um, to melt, and it takes uh, depends on the. Um, it depend depends on your microwave. My personal microwave takes about three minutes to melt everything and I can see in here um, like if it's getting you know heated or not and so if I need to put in more time then I do so that's my first step to um, doing my samples sorry I lost my train of thought so to be continued short and sweet so a Pyrex measuring cup in the microwave and I do an entire clamshell of wax and it takes and I'm going to be doing um these this is you got um I got these from the Cincy Family Store um you may or may not have um grabbed them while they were still available if you didn't you can still get um like candy molds at Michael's at Walmart wherever you want to go um here's a little trick that I do is this is the plate from Velada. It's the stone, this thing right here. And so, sorry, I'm doing this all at once. I lay this bad boy on here, and when I pour it in, it's actually gonna cool the bottom of it. And then because these are floppy, it's gonna be, um, I just transfer this right into my freezer. Don't look at how dirty it is. <laughs> So um, as you can see in there, it's still melting and it's about halfway through. So I may or may not have to still um, put some more time in. So, but it really doesn't take that much time to make molds. Um, once I put it in the freezer, this is going to be pretty much frozen. If Actually, if you could feel this, is, these are like already cold. So it helps the cooling process at the the, the the plastic's already cold. Um, and I, just so you could see how deep these are, I actually put them about halfway. Um, and that gives me more to, to make sure I have all of these. But the way, when I do it halfway, they come out nice and thick. And it's a nice little sample for your clients um, to put right inside your their nightlight. Um, or yourself, if you're one of my clients, um, I, make it big enough so you can actually utilize it for a nightlight. So um, we've got about 40 more seconds till to see. It looks like I'll probably have to do like another 30 seconds um, until I pour it in. But um, we're almost we're almost there. Oh, actually not. It's about 20 seconds left. And as you can see, it's almost fully melted so I think we're actually going to be perfect okay so this is going to be very hot so I um, suggest that you use an oven mitt and then I'm going to Mm, this smells really good. It does smell like jello, huh? Yeah, it does. It smells a lot like jello. And looks a lot like it too when it's a liquid. Mm-hmm. It does, doesn't it? Whew, hold on. This is getting really hot. Don't look at my dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oop, I spilt a little bit there. So I'm doing these a little bit thicker, so I may not get the full um, Okay. So I got um, enough to do four rows, which is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So 23, 23 samples. That's a lot um, for this size. So depending on um, how many you need, obviously you either want to do two bars or um, maybe to make them not as thick. My experience is that if you don't do at least halfway full, they tend to break. So I try to always fill it up at least halfway. And it's just, like I said, I want a nice sample for my clients. So that's why I do that. Now I'm going to, Buzzy, can you come and hold this for me, please? So I can just hold this like this, just like this. Okay. So, um, like I said, this is on the Velada, like, um, the marble slab and so I just lay it right inside my, my freezer so it's, I don't have to move the floppy. Um... Okay, thank you. Sorry. So there it is. And so I'm just going to have it in be there. It should be done in like five minutes. I mean, it solidifies pretty fast. And then I pop them out and um, put them inside these little baggies that I get from... Um, Walmart and there's a hundred in here for a dollar and you can find those inside your um, jewelry section of like the arts and crafty section of Walmart where they have like um, where you can make your own jewelry and stuff so and then I, what I did is I actually um, got these from the dollar store last year so they're little Ziploc bags with hearts on them so what I'll do is I will put um, them inside here as well so I can make it look nice and cute for Valentine's Day. And I'll make sure I label it so my clients know what scent it is. Um, I hope that's helpful. These, the reason why samples are so important is because again, it's like a, it's little seeds to planting your garden. Uh, every sample you give, um, you are planting a seed for people to be interested in new smells, new scents, um, the product, and even maybe an opportunity to maybe host a party or become a consultant and want to sell this amazing product with you. So I hope that's helpful. And um, there's going to be more for me. All these simple little tasks, you've heard it before, but these are really the tiny but most important tasks that you must do in order to keep your business growing. Have a great day. Bye-bye.